Imperial War Museums exist to help people to understand war and conflict that happened uh, across the world. We have over 8,000 oral histories. These are really important interviews with people carried out from 1945 through to the year 2000 and beyond. Breville was on the high ground, so we're under complete observation. So he ordered them to do the attack on Breville They were night. wounded. One plane came in a day, and then we were bombed. Well, we machine gunned as well. As well. Now those recordings are in the public domain but they are effectively inaccessible. Nobody has time to listen to 20,000 hours of content. We think it would have taken us over 20 years to transcribe this audio, so it can be searched and discovered. We really needed to lean into technology, and particularly AI, to help us do that, and we felt that Capgemini and Google were the perfect partners. Capgemini mobilised the team within a matter of days to understand the challenge, look at the right technology, and set up a Google Cloud pipeline that could ingest metadata, analyze the content, and create outputs. We use Google's Gemini Advanced Prompt Engineering to handle the complexity of varying accents, languages, and audio quality. Once you've got your governance and your data points, it is really, really quick to results. It was really actually only a matter of weeks before we got a workable product, and just months before we had something that we were very, very happy with. That was a real opportunity for us to not just transcribe this audio, but to experiment with new means of discovery as well. So you're not just reading the transcripts, but you're able to interact with the transcripts. You can ask questions using natural language that would have been impossible without AI. It's really important that these testimonies are true and accurate, and when they're reflected in an answer from an LLM, that's also really accurate and Capgemini really understood and Google really understood how important that was. We were breaking new ground with this technology. We used AI itself to generate better metadata from the recordings and get us close to a 99% accuracy, translating languages that aren't in common use today and using dialects and slang that we were dealing with in the 1940s. Both companies cross just above the bridge and uh, from then on little hell broke loose. Uh, we swung to the right, and there we encountered the first enemy opposition. He had evidently spread his men quite r well out, and uh, we were met by a heavy fuselage of machine gun fire and rifle fire. Google can be used by anyone. It can be used safely and securely in a really easy and fast way. So initially, this is a product that will be available online, and we're going to look to expand on this in the future. We have 33.5 million objects in our collection. And so one of our goals would be to enable the discovery of all of those objects and build that really interconnected, uh, AI-driven, LLM-driven environment, allowing people to discover much, much more about war and conflict.